In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word came from Yahweh, saying, Thus says Yahweh, Stand in the court of the house of Yahweh, and you shall speak to all the cities of Judah who have come to worship in the house of Yahweh all the words that I have commanded you to speak to them. Do not take away a word. Perhaps they will listen, and everyone will turn from his evil way, that I may relent of the evil which I am devising to bring against them because of the evil of their deeds. And you will say to them, Thus says Yahweh, If you will not listen to me, to walk in my law which I have given before you, to listen to the words of my slaves the prophets, whom I have been sending to you, rising up early and sending, but you have not listened, then I will make this house like Shiloh, and this city I will make a curse to all the nations of the earth. The priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of Yahweh. Now it happened that when Jeremiah finished speaking all that Yahweh had commanded him to speak to all the people, the priests and the prophets and all the people seized him, saying, You must surely die. Why have you prophesied in the name of Yahweh, saying, This house will be like Shiloh, and this city will be laid waste, without inhabitant? And all the people gathered about Jeremiah in the house of Yahweh. When the officials of Judah heard these things, they came up from the king's house to the house of Yahweh and sat in the entrance of the new gate of the house of Yahweh. Then the priests and the prophets spoke to the officials and to all the people, saying, A judgment of death for this man. For he has prophesied against this city as you have heard in your hearing. Then Jeremiah spoke to all the officials and to all the people, saying, Yahweh sent me to prophesy against this house and against this city all the words that you have heard. So now, make good your ways and your deeds and listen to the voice of Yahweh your God, and Yahweh will relent of the evil demise which he has spoken against you. But as for me, behold, I am in your hands. Do with me as is good and right in your eyes. Only know for certain that if you put me to death, you will bring innocent blood on yourselves and on this city and on its inhabitants, for truly Yahweh has sent me to you to speak all these words in your hearing. Then the officials and all the people said to the priests and to the prophets, No judgment of death for this man. For he has spoken to us in the name of Yahweh our God. Then some of the elders of the land rose up and spoke to all the assembly of the people, saying, Micah of Morsheth prophesied in the days of Hezekiah king of Judah, and he spoke to all the people of Judah, saying, Thus Yahweh of hosts has said, Zion will be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem will become a heap of ruins, and the mountain of the house will become the high places of a forest. Did Hezekiah king of Judah and all Judah put him to death? Did he not fear Yahweh and entreat the favor of Yahweh, and Yahweh relented of the evil demise which he had spoken against them? But we are committing a great evil against ourselves. Indeed, there was also a man who prophesied in the name of Yahweh, Uriah the son of Shemaiah from kiriath Jerim, and he prophesied against this city and against this land words similar to all those of Jeremiah. And King Jehoiakim and all his mighty men and all the officials heard his words. So the king sought to put him to death, but Uriah heard it, and he was afraid and fled and went to Egypt. Then King Jehoiakim sent men to Egypt, Elnathan the son of Agbor and certain men with him went into Egypt. And they brought Uriah out from Egypt and led him to King Jehoiakim, who struck him down with a sword and cast his dead body into the burial place of the common people. But the hand of Ahikam the son of Shaphan was with Jeremiah, so that he was not given into the hands of the people to put him to death. 